43. 43 people sat on my Bone Monsters with Skin video that Banjaw is the skeleton of Platy. And countless people on other Banjaw videos believe that Platy is somehow connected to Banjaw. So today let's look at this theory and see if this is really the case. We're going to find the answer by examining this concept through three topics. We must look at both monsters' physical, elemental, and musical attributes. Let's dive into the first one. There, unfortunately, is some evidence in the appearance of Banjaw that it may not have been Platy at one point. For one, look at the skull, where the eyes are connected. The Banjaw has a pronounced supraorbital foramen, or an ocular ridge. Uh, Basically, the top of its skull sticks way up over its eyes. For the platy, the eyes protrude out of the flesh, with no support above or underneath. Also, the skull is much bigger than platy's actual head. Furthermore, the banjaw possesses long limbs that it plucks its tendon with. These limbs are not present on the platy. The same could be said about banjaw's legs, but then there's the argument that they were converted into platy's pipes. There's the right number for them. Four visible and one in the back make five, the same number of Platy's appendages. See how he can lift up both legs without falling? There's a fifth leg in the back supporting him. Finally, let's look at the tendon of Banjaw, the sinew he plucks to produce his sound. This tendon is rigid and inflexible, and twangs back into place when plucked. If this sinew was present in the Platy, it would not be able to compress itself like it does on Fairy Island. If Platy has a skeleton at all, it would most likely look something like this. No tendon, smaller skull, missing limbs. Now, that's just appearance alone. The elemental setups of Platy and Banjaw tell a complex story as well. Banjaw is made up of the elements bone, fire, and water, while Platy is fairy, fire, cold, and earth. If Platy were to change into Banjaw, its elemental configuration would have to change as well. So let's look at this step by step. Fairy. If Platy decays into Banjaw, there would be no fairy traces left. We can conclude that the fairy element harmlessly transforms into bone. Fire. Fire remains the same as is present in both monsters. Cold. Ice is frozen water. Since the element of cold is all about snow and ice, it's possible that cold actually melted or decayed into the water element. Pretty cool when you think of it that way. Earth. My idea for Earth is that it merged with fairy somehow and turned it into bone. Bones are primarily made of calcium, which is an alkali earth metal, so I guess it's possible. So in conclusion, our elemental research is a bit of a stretch, but I guess it's plausible. Now let's look at the third and final factor into deciding whether Banjaw is platy. Let's see if the two monsters could possibly produce the same sound. This idea is partly connected to the anatomy part of today's video. We know that platy compresses itself to produce its music, and that Banjaw plucks its rigid tendon. Right off the bat, we know that Banjaw's tendon cannot compress or stretch. So if it were platy, it couldn't play its song. But in order for that to happen, Platy would have to possess a large set of lungs, or perhaps even some sort of air sac, which gives it its blobby shape. However, it is possible that if Banjaw was once Platy, its air sac could have dried up and actually become Banjaw's tendon. How's that for a big brain play? One final factor regarding Platy's musical capabilities. Its tubes are hollow, allowing air to flow out through them. That means that Banjaw's leg bones would have to be hollow as well, although we don't see that in-game. So that about sums it up for the platy Banjaw research. Let's take a look at the probability rating. Alright, we've got one nope and two plausibles. Let's get the final result from our table of judges, who certainly aren't all me. Alright, so, is Banjaw platy? Not exactly. The elemental and musical attributes are completely fine with me. I just can't get over the obvious anatomical differences between these two monsters. Of course, there's always the possibility of rare magicals looking like this, so we can't rule out the possibility. As always, thank you for watching and listening to this theory. I hope you enjoyed the animations. I'm planning on adding them more into videos. This has been Creeptanium. 
and I'll see you guys later.